Hello, this is Troy York from Hip Discovery. I'm going to show you how to use this slider bar. So, this is pretty straightforward and simple. Just 0 through 10 here. So, we're going to go ahead and close this out to hide this. And minimize that. Open Xcode. Uh, we're going to create a new Xcode project here. I'm just going to call this slider bar. And we don't need anything extra here, core data or anything. Just a basic app here. I'm going to switch over to the iOS here, the iOS scheme, put it on iPhone 13 mini since that's what I had open before, you can do whatever you want. Uh, so right now we just have a text that says hello world, the basic default. And so this is just really going to require a property wrapper. So we're going to use an at state property wrapper and an at state property wrapper is used to manipulate structs so once the value changes it rebuilds the struct itself so with the new value so we're going to make this private because all states are private you don't want that access from anywhere else then we're going to name this slider value and then we're going to make this a double set to five we're going to do 5.0 and then we're going to start off by just Putting the text immediately to slider value. We got slider value here. We can delete this padding for now as well. All right, so we got the slider value already up in text. We're gonna go and enter in our slider here. Um, the arguments that we're gonna need is at least value but we're going to do value and in because this in will set a range. So for value, you're going to need a binding value. Binding is basically telling that the value is going to change. When slider was created, a binding was set up. It didn't have an initial value. So it has to wait for something like state to come by, to come by and attach the value to it. And that's called the source of truth. So we're going to go ahead and do dollar sign here and that is just stating that this is a projected value. I'm going to put this before anytime you use a state and then we're going to go ahead and put a slider value and then this is the range here and it needs to be closed so we're just going to do 0 to 10 and I'm going to throw this in a V stack. So it's stacked up and down. There we go. Got that together. Zoom out a little bit. And go to the live view here. Right now it has a bunch of numbers, which is what we don't want. I'm going to put a padding on this slider as well so that it's not all the way on the edge of the screen. But yeah, we definitely want to get that number just to one whole number here. So back in text here, we're going to have to put a specifier and for the specifier it needs to be in string format. So doubles, you're going to do percent %f and you're going to have a point two or whatever value you want. So right now point two. So you can have point two, point one or point zero, which is what we want. And that's all that's to it. And now you got yourself a slider bar set up. This has been Troy York with Hip Discovery. If you have any other Swift UI videos you'd like to see, please comment and subscribe and like if this has helped you out. I'd appreciate the feedback as well. So comment below. Thank you.